Hello, scrubs! Welcome back to Eorzea. Happy Halloween to everyone out there. Uh, I am super late on doing the Halloween event this year. I just had too much other crud going on in my life. Um, sometimes I like to post it on Halloween anyway, so whatever. The only bad thing is there's not going to be a bunch of cool people. Like, there's not going to be a crowd. Not that it matters, because most people don't watch these Final Fantasy XIV videos anyway. So... Uh, I'm going to try to somewhat rush through this. I'm going to make this different than the other... I'm just... Because uh, it's probably going to be the same bloody story as it is every freaking year. So there's not a huge a lot... There's not really a, a, a huge point to it. Um, but let's... Because of the controversial circus, we're afraid of them! Uh, the, the Sinister Story... And... And I'm sure the the haunted house is going to be back this year. They probably haven't changed anything with it. I think they just leave it in there now for fun every year, which is fine because it's still a fun, cool experience. Uh, the Adventures Guild investigator is eyeing the troop currently occupying the Hope Day's amphitheater. Blah blah blah. We meet again. I'm just really, frankly, I could use the help of Venture who knows the Constable Circus. I imagine no surprise here. They're up to something again. Uh, Law-abiding citizens does truly a broad, nothing. Blah blah blah. The Adventures Guild policy. Uh, the troop, uh, they're in folk of a certain manner. Uh, the Marvelous Masquerade is the spirit of All Saints Wake, but have been keeping constant watch over the alert of the, the signs of villainy. Get to return. Um, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna, yeah, we're just scanning through this. It's, like, it's always too wordy. It's always so wordy. Like, okay, cool, they're up to something. Let's go talk to him. Um, I do... I truly love Halloween though. It is a fun. This is always one of my favorite favorite times of year uh, for, for the events. Uh, oh, is that familiar adventure I spy? Hmm, I thought perhaps I am mistaken, but I am not mistaken, it seems. Uh, I do hope you are having a properly dreadful Saints Week. Uh, yeah, it's been fun. Uh, you're not? Oh dear, dear, I simply do not. Uh, grab my tears and wake up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, yes, a masquerade. There is guests, uh, fulsome, frightful dance as long as you dare, sound of blah, blah, blah. Uh, I reach ghoulish delights to join the madness in the streets to see the palest of pumpkin heads leading to a magnificent medley of fiends. Uh, it has been so long. I have, pardon me, I adore the idea of the authentic celebration and their circus does, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what do we not? The frightly abandoned mansion of our masquerade. Was there even rumors of that its furnishings are no are no master to serve? They've taken the lives of their own. I'll hold a beautiful banquet in the darkness of the night. Aren't you dying to attend? Uh, let's see. What about the rumors? Those who ever and after return. <clears throat> Uh, hmm, I cannot say the rumor of the sword they reacted to me, and blah, blah, blah. Regardless, I'm sure you have a secretly spying to me in time. I guess the terror of the zenith. Something. Uh, the Espiritio. Uh, oh, what? Merely a new slogan of the Constitutional Circus, of course, to help you revelers get in the spirit and such. Now, off you go. <coughs> yeah, I can't. I've had a throat in my throat the last couple days. Uh, what do I feel that I'm being watched? Surely no one is aware of our true intention this time. Psst, I'm watching you too. Whispers seem to emanate from somewhere nearby. Oh, here's the destination. I do love the Halloween music. It is most fun. Over here, woo. The voice cut in, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay. Definitely seems like the best thing to do is follow a disembodied voice. <laughs> oh, these ghosts. Those are the minions you get. It's like, uh, I don't know. Delighted to be alive at last, aren't we, little ones? Oh, wait, that's not the ghost. That's a person. Hey, it's that, it's that, uh, character. The pumpkin-headed apparition. Whatever. 
I do believe we have met before, yes, in an autumn such as this. Uh, God, I think I met, you meet her, like, God, three or four years ago, and she hasn't actually made an appearance, she's just been, like, spying on people. Uh, now, didn't you two have something to tell our friend here? Haha, uh, yes, you should have seen your face, it was hilarious. We went, boo, and your eyes got huge, and, and you know, now that you mention it, I do actually remember we had something to talk about. Uh, the plot, the evil one. The one that involves being loud and irritating in our mansion. Oh, right. So the other day, when I was sitting in the foyer being decorative, which is this, which is the same thing I did every day back before I could move, come to think of it, I saw a murmur, a mummer, carry a little girl away into the dark depths of the mansion. I could hardly believe my eye holes. <laughs> eye holes. That's funny because I like to say that. I like to say eye holes. Suspicious, right? And horrifying. But I couldn't do anything about it, on the account of having no mouth to scream with. I mean, I had a mouth, but it didn't do anything. Me being flippery and all. Uh, anyway, uh, that's when the lady with the hideous pumpkin on her head came along and imbued me with life. Please stop talking. You'll get us both turned back into objects of dirt. Right, so what matters is we begin keeping an eye on the impersorio, in the impersorio, whatever the, whatever the fuck it's called, uh, and wouldn't you know it, he is plotting something. As you are aware, the Continental Circus is the luring people to the mansion for a masquerade, but once there, the guest will be kidnapped and turned into jack-o'-lanterns to inspire terror. With enough terrified victims, the troop will be able to usher in the night of devilry. It is a nuisance, honestly. We resigned. I've resigned myself to the fact that I've got to go out of my way to deal with this. If you want to stop the Impersorio's plans, I can help. So it sounds like they might have changed the mansion a little bit. Uh, gosh, I hope I don't need people. <laughs> me too, me too. The thought of the poor little girl being turned into a pumpkin and stuck in a corner is enough to send a chill down my seam. It would be terrible, dreadful, the greatest threat. The greatest tragedy, tra bleh, the greatest travesty this world has ever seen. So you will keep it from happening, right? Yeah, don't worry. I got you guys. Amazing. I knew we could count on you. Well, not really, I suppose, since I just met you a few moments ago. But I do. You do seem nice. Anyway, we'll head back to the mansion and meet you there. Ghosties, Mia. Ghosties. <laughs> They are certainly enjoying themselves. The joy of the conversation is a novelty to them, though to you it may be an unworthy remark. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do, I guess... Man, I hope there's still people doing it, because this sucks. <laughs> i got to talk to this dude. Uh, but it's still kind of the same story, like, oh, Continental Circus, or secretly monsters, or trying to usher in the end of devilry by frightening people. Uh, Master Plan, yeah, they're gonna sacrifice a bunch of people, bro. Uh, you witnessed this, uh, remember attending a duck and a little girl and my cook child was in the port. Uh, whaler, let me try to suspiciously uh, try to find her. I'm a port, you know, Lord of War Whalers. Uh, I'm a thing, so you know, general, okay. I'd say he's just gonna, just to that, hey, man, get in there and find her. I'm gonna go make a report. I'll meet you there. Uh, General uh, Genial Gruzer. Gruzer. Oh, ho, another rebel of the Masquerade. Yeah, into the manor. Okay, cool. I guess you just go by yourself. Okay, so that's cool. I also love this music. This is some of my favorite music. There doesn't seem to be any monsters this time. Oh. Airman, Iron Man enthusiast, Bat enthusiast, Succubus enthusiast? Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Hello, lady. Those claws look a little deep. I want to see your boobs. Yeah, look at those boobs. It's kind of hot. I mean, except for those hands. Definitely don't want to get a hand job. Uh, Lilligan. 
Uh, took you long enough. I'm not sure how much of this revelry I can endure. Oh, wow, you're already oh. you're here already. We've been busy reveling, and the time flew by. <sighs> Do you see what I have to put up with? Regardless, we should seek out the malevolent murmurs and try to get some information on where they are keeping her. Pray that she hasn't already been turned into a pumpkin, or we'll be here for moons. I doubt the murmurs will tell us what we need to know, but if I ask politely, so will we need to employ a bit of deception. Fortunately, I came up with a plan. Daring and ample time, time you left me to think. We should be more willing to speak to one of their own, namely a fiend. So we'll need to turn you into one. Uh... Uh, so I bet you're wondering how we'll make you into a monster. You aren't... You are, aren't you? Well, see, our very close friend with the hitty... I mean, the festive pumpkin head has all sorts of powers. All sorts. And we'll ask her to borrow one of One, two, or three. Indeed, the powers we'll have to allow us to transfer your appearance just as the members of the troop do. A bit temporarily. Go ahead and adjust your vestige to being horribly... Con horribly reconfigured. Jesus, that doesn't sound good. Uh, when you're ready, let us know. Okay, cool. So it's kind of when you do on your own. Uh, the Perilous Play. And what do you get? A cookie? One pumpkin cookie. Uh, Lillian is, uh, is ready. Uh, well, that was fine. So you're going to do the current vestige. I suppose you could see why in the case. But turn yourself into one of the three types of fiends and adequately blend into the Continental Circus members. I have obscure scullion about the manor. I am, according to the decorative eyewitnesses, the murmurs currently on duty are in truth alluring airborne long tailored creatures. I assume this gives you a decent idea of what you're dealing with. Uh, as you can see my fellows, blah blah blah. Oh, okay, so we go, we go over here and talk to one of these. Um, I'm assuming that's a succubus the way they described it. How do I look? Just kidding. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, we got 29 minutes. 29 minutes. Uh, what do these do? Trick some treat. Cast a spell that alarms the target within the designated area. Okay. Neat. Um... Now, use tricksome treats on malevolent murmurs. Oh, here's a malevolent murmur. Huh! Oh, what the? Oh, it's you. What exactly are you, grudging man in the memo? I need to be here about finding the next victim. Uh, mark my words, there will be seven hells to pay. Alright, I got one. Oh, there's another one. Malevolent Murmur. He's a vampire. Room 201, room 201, 201. Oh, ah. oh. I was like, can't you read me the normal dungeon devil? You have to look in this book. I don't want to look in that book. I'm busy playing this game. You got some red on you. This? The, oh, yep, there she is. She's like a Harley Quinn type of thing. Gah, fiend! Oh, wait. I'm also a fiend. Phew. I don't know. Don't start me like that. Alright. Gotta report to Yin. Little Yin. Do, 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 do. And what did you learn? Uh, nothing. Ha ha! I knew my plan would work. We've got you now. Wah, 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 wah. Um, let's review the information we collected. Guess wait. What information? Oh, coming on. When did you get back? <clears throat> okay, so the new quest. Okay, cool. Options. Oh man, options. You must, you must be able to get the other minion from. Uh, yes, honey, I see your book. You must be able to get the other ones from like cookies or something. I would imagine. Uh, Lily, NC, you ready to hear your review? Uh, that's good. I mean, I suppose I don't know where you work, but it was exactly what I've been told. Blah blah blah. The work uh, that you did. Uh, so if I've been paying attention, you would now that uh, our fiend here have tricked the murmurs into revealing a room number, 201, and the existence of the memo regarding the pumpkin significant enough to be kept under guard. The fact on 
Uh-huh. Man, just go watch your shows. I see. So that means, actually, I lied. I have no idea what's going on. The memo holds the information on the missing girl's whereabouts. Uh, the mummers are unsettling, have an unsettled, have an unsettling obsession with pumpkins. I'm sure that's the top one. <clears throat> hey, what's that ivory lamp over there? That's a, yes, I quite agree. Oh, so the pumpkin, uh, the pumpkin is the little girl? Oh no, this is terrible. Uh, indeed, which means that you too should investigate room 201. Post haste, and if you see, if you can locate the memo, off you go. I didn't see this guy over here. Pay no mind to the little imp in the Little Yang. What's little Yang say? Oh, hey, look. A thing. Does this... Does this look like the thing we're looking for? Mummer's memo. Let's get it. Uh, the conspicuous mum contains notes scrawled in unpracticed hand. Pumpkin equals cellarage. Armin plus succubus. Room number equal eyes. Okay. Has to be the one, the pumpkin. This is the pumpkin on and everything. Uh, we just need to get some eyeballs. So you can get that right. You seem to be a great deal of eyeball counter. Oh. Uh, on the eyeballs, remind me, there is. Uh, phew, Jesus. Oh. And the eyeballs remind me of these other balls. The pumpkin-headed lady gave them to me. They're stumbling smoke bombs. I can break into the cellarage curse. Cool, give me those. Uh, just now throw one at the old jack and you see it will turn back into its original form. Unless its original form was a pumpkin. Then it will just stay the same. Uh, the little girl must be so scared. Hurry, uh, what is it? Uh, find the room. Uh, I'll be right behind you. Oh, and... Don't go hunting away. Hunting away in a helpful way. Uh, decode the memo on checking the solution of the cellarage room numbers on your map. will allow you to quickly locate the transformative amongst the plethora of suspicious pumpkins in a manner. Okay, so... The note... Uh, the note. The note. The note. Let's go back up. Um, it's an Armin plus a succubus, so... Well, Armin only has one eye. Succubus should have two, so the answer is three. Do, 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 do. So it should be room three. That's a pretty little easy puzzle. I wonder if that changes when you... You probably can't do it multiple times. Let's use it. Particular pumpkin. That pumpkin is very particular. I knew that you would be skilled at pumpkin identification, and you did it. You saved the little. <laughs> Wait, what? I can finally stretch my legs again. I finally have legs. Ah. Well, ah. Ah. Oh god, the little girl turned into a large man. It's terrible. It's dreadful. It's the greatest travesty this world has ever seen. Yeah, you shouldn't judge based on appearances, you know. <laughs> You're right. Quick, let's go ask if we if we should be screaming or not. <laughs> what? Okay. We should watch this book. We should use a we should use a paper towel to try to okay. watch this book. Alright, talk to this dude. Go stalker, all right, Doc, and keep it together. Wait a minute. I know you. I apologize for my outburst. I'm a little on edge. One minute I was enjoying the masquerade, you see, then the next I'm a pumpkin in a dungeon. Uh, it's a bit much to take in. Docking! 
Oh, little Tamarita. You are considerably less orange than I was a moment ago. So I take it uh, that you mean you've been safe in your hiding place this all the time. Yep, I was the best hider. There's not a fiend who found me yet. Hello, I'm confused. Well, Mr. Ghost, I was looking around this big scary mansion for the good hide and seek spots. And when one of the people of the circus saw me and started casting a spell on me, I knew, because it's happened before, Dawkins jumped in front of me, and he got turned into a pumpkin. I ran away, and I wanted to go and get help, but there were too many people from the troop guarding the way out. Me, I just happened to be lost in the cellarage, and when I came upon that mummer casting a curse on her, I just knew it was the curse at the time. Uh, not that I knew it was cursed at the time, but uh, mind uh, seemed right ominous, so I shielded her without a second thought, and then I was a pumpkin. Funny how these things happen, eh? Unfortunately, I wasn't much good at to anyone after that. You must have been scared out of your your little wits. Uh, all down here. Oh, don't worry. I was fine. Since these brooms kept me company while I hid. Brooms. Thank you for coming to save me again, Mr. Adventure. And you too, Mr. Ghost. My thanks as well. I would have uh, had to been stuck as a jekyll lantern forever, just sitting there decoratively, serving no purpose. Anyway, I'd be more happy to escort Tamarta here, home to her mother. Hopefully next time we meet, I won't be as useless ornament. Ha ha ha. Well, that was weird and slightly offensive, but I'm glad that they're safe and everything worked out. Uh, you know, because when the pumpkin turned into a middle-aged man, it was so scary, and I thought we were in for a terrible tragedy for sure, but, uh, oh, uh, do you think we should both go tell Yen? You need to watch this book, too. Okay, honey. Well, I guess we'll go tell Yen. <clears throat> Little girl turned into what? Little girl's fine. Oh, I see. Well, what matters is everything turned out right in the end. And it's all thanks to you, Kamio. It was really fun talking to you. And joking with you. Uh, and panicking with you. And running around with you. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever had this so much fun. Uh, now that is over. I can finally have some peace and quiet. The manor will be empty once again. And perhaps we must return to silence as well. Not that I mind, but do come and see us again. Oh, sure. Uh, I'm. Uh, that's quite enough for now. Uh, wasn't someone wanting to hear from you? Dun, 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 dun. Report to the Adventurers Guild. Guess I'll be doing that. Adventurers Guild investigator. Ah, there you are. I was delighted to hear that you managed to rescue the girl, even without reinforcements. The lesson of Pestero. This was are better. Ah. Uh, I think it's the first time I've ever actually seen him in the daylight. And perhaps the troop's failure will keep a hold of its prey, blah, blah, blah. There wasn't a post. Vigilant. It's always vigilant. Uh, what am I about to other issue? It is fitting for you to bring the little one's delight, for they have watched over you for longer than you know. <laughs> uh, as for now, the brooms that made the little girl their playmate came to move, even I cannot say, for it was no magic of mine, but no matter. Will the grand masquerade of all saints wake adventurers, monsters, and silent watchers are as one? Permit us our mischief, and we might just follow you home. She's not there. My god. Hmm. All right, which one should I choose? Well, Yin, I'm gonna choose Yang because he's funnier, and then I'll I'll have to figure out how to get the other one. What do you talk about? Okay, yeah. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, so I need five cookies. So I need to do that thing like five times. She's definitely my my favorite. My boobs. She's got boobs. Uh. Yeah. 
I'd like to give you a pumpkin cookie. Okay. And we're gonna see what these what these little minion ones look like. Uh, so the first one just says turn around. Use them to require said minion. <laughs> That's great. And the next one says every now and then I get a little bit closer. That's God, I love I love the I love the puns that they put in in this game. Uh, minion guide. Oh, they're there. Oh, they actually have. They have little green dots on them, so you know that they're new. Uh, one half of a pair of literally animated decorations you stumbled across during the All Saints Wake festivities. Members of the Continental Circus are at a loss as to why this sullen specter appears to have a will of its own, though possession is on a high list of their theories. Seven. There he is. He's kind of a good size. Yeah. He's cool. Does he do anything? Let's see if he does anything. Or does he just wander around? He could just wander around. Oh, no, he spins. He laughs. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And then, uh, yeah, one half a pair of the little amateur, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much says the same exact thing. It says the same exact thing as the little yin, but he just has a different face. I'm assuming he just does the same thing. Probably just moves around and laughs and shit. It's a ghost. Ooh, it's a ghost. Yeah, it just cackles. Alright. Well, so that.